Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this quick tip video, I want to take you through and show you how you can easily add variations to products in WooCommerce without having to go through and create a whole variation setup. Now, this is great if you've got just one product that needs to have some variations associated with it and you don't really want to go through the process of creating all the different options just to use them one time. So stick around, watch this video, and I'm going to show you how you can achieve that quickly and easily. Let's kick this video off by saying that if you're not sure what variations are when you're working with WooCommerce, I'd highly recommend checking out the video that I've done in detail on how to set these up and how to use them and what they're all about. I'll link that in the top right hand corner now and also in the description so you can check that out to get really up to speed. This video is just basically going to show you how you can apply them quickly without having to go through the entire process of creating multiple variations that are then assigned to different products. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to either create or in this instance duplicate a product that we're going to use as the basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this rose dragon and I'm just going to say I'm going to duplicate this. That'll create a duplicate copy. And we also take a look, if we scroll down to the product data, you can see at the moment it's set as a simple product. Before I can apply variations to this, I need to change that to be a variable product. And that'll open up some additional options on the left hand side. So the first thing we need to do once we've done the variable product is to choose the attributes. So we click on there and you can see we've got a simple drop down list. And if we click on there, there's nothing in there. That's because I have no attributes set up, no variations, nothing in this particular install of WooCommerce. So we're starting with a completely blank canvas. So what I'm going to do is going to click on this add and that'll add in a custom attribute field for me. So I click on that and you can see that opens up some simple options. First thing we've got is the name. Next up, we've got the option to put values in. And then thirdly, we've got the visible on the product page and also to be used in the variations. So we're going to call this chocolate type because we're dealing with chocolate bars in this instance. Now, the important thing is when we put these values in, we have to separate each individual value with the pipe symbol. So if we say to start off with, we'll have milk chocolate. We use the pipe symbol. Oops. Then we can do the next option, which is going to be dark chocolate, the pipe symbol, and finally, we're going to have white chocolate. So we've created our three variations that we want to assign to this particular product, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. We've made sure that each one of those values is separated by the pipe symbol. It's set to be visible on the product page, and what we need to ensure is that we check the box that says used for variations. Once we've done that, we can click Save to Attributes. That will now save that associated with this product and this product only. We can now jump over to the Variations tab and we can start assigning some values to each of these variations. So this process now is pretty much exactly the same if you create variations through the Attributes option on the left-hand side. The only difference is that this will only associate with this particular product, whereas using the Attributes option allows us to be associated with any product we want in the future becomes a global set of attributes. So what we need to do now is click on this and we say create variation from all attributes. I'm going to use that because we only set up three attributes so it's nothing too sort of major. We click on go. That'll give us a warning saying are you sure you want to do this? We're going to limit it to 50 different variations. Well, we're good to go so we'll click OK on that. It tells us three variations have been completed. So that's our milk, dark and white chocolate. And you can see these have now been added in. So those variations are in there. The final thing we need to do is set up the information associated with each one of these variations. So, for example, the milk chocolate, we need to set the price in there of 375 If we were managing stock or we want to set different images, we can do that. We can apply sale prices to individual product variations if we want to. All the things you'd expect. And finally, I'm just going to do exactly the same on the next one and the same on the third one. So we've got the attributes set up and I've associated different prices with those. All I need to do now is scroll down, say save changes. I can just come up there and publish this product. So this is just a copy. So what we're gonna do now is we'll just take a jump over and take a look at that product. So let's view that. And you can see now we have a range of options, chocolate type, and in there we've got our three different options available, three different variations. That's how easy it is to apply variations to an individual product without having to go through the process of creating a global set of attributes that then can very quickly build up and create a sort of unwieldy set of attributes that are only ever going to be used one time.
Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's shown you how you can speed up the process of working with WooCommerce. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content added every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else on the cover on the channel, or anything you'd like to see in future quick tips or videos, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.